Hello world. I'm Brian Ellis and I'm super excited to be chatting with y'all today about this text-to-speech module that I've put together for Max MSP. So uh, this is a Node.js based module and I've built a couple of different wrapper functions for the voice RSS API provided by uh, voicerss.org. Um, pretty simply, the way it works is you get an API key, you submit it to the object, then you say whatever you want to say, it comes out, and then it saves it as a WAV file, which you can then, you know, plop into a buffer, play, do whatever you want to. So to get started, we're going to go to this address. So uh, we need to register real quick. So this is our key, but you see that this says here that it is an active, so we need to activate the account. All right, so this is what we need to do to activate our account. We click on that. We see that it's been activated. We go back. And now we see we here have an API key. And now you're going to take your key and plop it in right there. So now I can set the key. Um, and if I say hello world, hello world, uh, it goes, it requests it, it, gets the file back, and it does that whole process. Now, one of the things that I've implemented is it, uh, it's because it stores it as a file, if the file already exists, it doesn't repeat the request. So this hello world actually would have been working before. Um, but let's say we want to say hello world again. Hello world again. So now it goes, it makes the new file, it plays it, and it plops it out here as just a generic WAV file. All right. So for most use cases, I think the tutorial can just stop here and you can go and try it out on your own. Link is in the description to the downloads. But for those of y'all who want to know a little bit more how this works and dig into some of the other options, uh, let's take a look at what's on the insides actually here. So you see, this is actually just a very simple wrapper for a Node.js script I have working. Um, and in this Node.js script, you'll see, uh, you know, we, we have our Max API handler that responds to a couple of different messages. Uh, it responds to set key as well as say, right? Um, and inside of say is where all the interesting logic is, right? So we take your words, um, we need to be able to pass this as a URL. So um, we use the uh, URI encoding for words. Um, and we also, because we want to save the name as a file, we have to replace like all of the periods and spaces and exclamation points and stuff so we can uh, use the words as a file name. So uh, that's what this logic does. Uh, we make the file name and then if it exists, we just say it exists, pass it back and we say, okay, we're done. Um, otherwise, uh, we go and we actually make the request. So you hear, see here this API voicerss.org um, where we can specify the language that we're using, en-us, um, and we say the words that we want to say as well as our API key. Um, these are all options that you can uh, read more about here um, using, you know, looking at the different parameters. Um, so if you wanted to say like have a different voice, you could add in this parameter of and v equals Amy, right? Um, you would add it in, oh, uh, key, and uh, v equals Amy, and, right? Um, and then when you run this, you would get a different voice uh, responding. Um, if you want it to be saved in a different file format, you can do that as well. Um, and here is a list of all of the different uh, parameters that you can set. Uh, I use a lot of the default ones just because I found that those generally worked for me. You know, on a success, we, uh, you know, we uh, give back the file name on an error message. We report back what that error is. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a, uh, a great rest of your day and um, enjoy some text-to-speech inside of y'all's Max patches. Thanks so much.